All right, two videos in one day. This is a, well, I made the other video the night after I got off work. This is a, a day video. But the Sharks are facing the Colorado Avalanche. I know I did not get to talk about Vegas. Time just really was killing me. But the Vegas Golden Knights, they, they defeated them, came back from 3-1, a very improbable comeback. And really, no one really saw that coming from a comeback perspective. And really, when I was picking that series, I thought the Sharks were going to lose in five even before it started. Like, the defense wasn't playing well the last 20 games. They didn't look very well on the ice. The defense has been a problem. But they pulled it off. Some magic, some miracle. Game six had a lot of saves. And then, yeah, game, game seven, there was one comeback in the third period. Just amazing. Improbable. All those words you can describe. Uh, thankfully, Vegas is a meme. I don't think the officials decided that series. Really, it was questionable both ways if you watched game two versus game seven. So... No, you can't say the refs blew it if you go give up four goals in, what, less than five minutes? No excuses. Anyways, the Sharks are going to be without Joe Pavelski. They're facing the Colorado Avalanche, and this is where they're actually going to be favored. Like, that last series, that was the one that scared me because Vegas was hot with Mark Stone and picking him up, but the Avalanche are a team that's just young and hungry. This is a group that really barely squeaked in, but they got hot. That's what really counts is getting hot when it matters. Uh, the Avalanche, my issue with them is that they don't have depth. But they have Landis Cog, Rantanen, and, of course, Nate McKinnon on their first line. That's what's killer. They have the very front-end scoring side. If those guys are blowing by your defense, they're going to score a lot. That They dominated the Flames. That should have been a sweep if anyone watched that series. The tape I saw, they, they really, if it weren't for Mike Smith in one game, they sweep them. So we go back into this uh, series. The Sharks are going to be without some players, but the Sharks also have the better scoring depth. From Gustav Nyquist to Evander Kane, Joe Thornton, Tomas Hurdle, all the guys from top to bottom, there's balance and depth, even without Joe Pavelski. You expect this team to score. The problem, the defense. We know the team defense on this team has been hard to watch. As it goes from the last couple months of the, the regular season, that I'm still not very impressed with this team's defense overall. But... They made some plays when they had to, especially, I mean, it's weird. That game six, there were a lot of shots. But I would say that after after the third period in the overtime, I saw a good defense on both sides of that, that game, that game six against Vegas. So where does it go from here? The Sharks, to me, have a better blue line. There are some good players on the Avalanche, like Eric Johnson. But the, the Sharks, from top to bottom, are a better team, personnel-wise. But team defense is the equalizer. Martin Jones has also not been as good, of course, as a whole. You look at the game six, yes, he won it, but he's been average. I mean, if the Sharks give up less than three goals, they're going to win. I guarantee it. They have not lost the game one to nothing or two to one all year long. But, of course, the defense is going to give up so much, go so many shots, Martin Jones is going to allow them. I don't want to throw Martin Jones all the way under the bus, but he has been bad, but so has the team defense. You can't give up a million shots. Brent Burns, I don't know how he's a Norris Trophy candidate. His defense isn't very good. If, you've, if anyone's been watching him, the defensive part is really hard to watch. Yes, he scores, but it, it all cancels out. So do the Sharks win this? On paper, they're expected to, but once again, the defense can equalize, and a guy, a guy like McKinna could just speed by the defense and uh, kick them. So I expect a very tough-fought series. I think it'll go six or seven. If, they, if there's really bad play on one side or the other, then it goes at five. But I expect this to go six or seven. The Avalanche are a hungry team, but as I said, if the Sharks use their depth from top to bottom, they win. If they play bad defense, they lose. Simple. So let me know what you all think. I mean, this is kind of like the 90s. We're back into the 90s, early 2000s, where we saw all these guys. No more Peter Forsberg, no Joe Sackick. But, uh, yeah, they look a lot better now than what they were before, because we Without Varlamov, it's nice to see he's not playing. They have a better goalie now. Y'all gave up a first-round pick for him. You know, you could have had Philip Forsberg with that pick. But no, it is what it is. The Avalanche are right in the hunts. They, uh, they're right there. So we'll see what happens. Good luck to the Sharks.